Hey guys, and in today's video I prepared something special. I wanted to show you three different perspectives from POV mounts. Uh, what is POV? Well, basically POV stands for point of view. So uh, you literally mount a camera on yourself, whether it's gonna be a head, mouth, or, or maybe I'll just show you. So this is how my setup gonna look like for this video. As you see, I have a head strap with a GoPro Hero 8 Black on here and a mouthpiece, which I'm gonna literally put into my mouth. And I know it looks silly, but sometimes you can get a really amazing shots from this. And last but not least, GoPro Chesty, which also can give you amazing results. All right, so for the first video that I prepared, let's take a look at a motorbike scene in which I'm using all of these mounts. So I'm gonna be using this um, in the specific order. Uh, starting from head strap, then mouthpiece, and my GoPro chesty. When it comes to riding a motorbike or a bicycle, I think GoPro Chesty gives a really nice perspective when you still see that motorbike or this bicycle um, with your hands uh, on the handles. Uh, it really gives a nice perspective. Uh, all of the mounts like a head strap and, uh, um, and the mouthpiece are actually giving you that higher perspective, which I don't necessarily like in this one. And now let's take a look at another activity of me driving a car. Obviously in this example the head strap is a clear winner because you can turn your head smoothly and comfortably, you're not afraid that uh, you're gonna lose it. When you compare head strap to a mouthpiece, well with a mouthpiece you can easily lose it um, and it's a little bit uncomfortable to hold it for a very long time but uh, with a head strap you are actually gonna, um, you're not gonna get tired, uh, it's comfortably mounted on your head and no matter how hard you move you're not gonna lose it, yeah? And now, let's take a look at another example of me calibrating my drone and then flying it.
And right now, guys, take a look at the last example of me holding my wife's hand while running on the beach. So let's summarize it guys, I cannot stress it enough, I think honestly that all of these mounts, whether it's a head strap, mouthpiece or chesty, all of them have their purpose and use. For example, head strap gonna give you that almost first person view as if from the eyes of a person, um, whereas for example um, the GoPro chesty gonna give you that mo much more focus on your hands, uh, gonna focus on what you are actually doing with your hands. And uh, I think a mouthpiece is actually has uh, a bit of both worlds. It's uh, kind of in the middle, so it gives you a little bit higher perspective, but still gives you that focus on your hands. So I suggest you only to, to try all of these. And uh, if you can only afford it, if not, uh, just watch this video, perhaps a couple of others, and just decide which one gonna suit your style of shooting the most. All right, <laughs> that would be that's it for today. Uh, what do you think about POV mounts, guys? Uh, I really start to love using these uh, uh, mounts because it can give you that immersive point of view. Um, and uh, also you can have your hands free so you can actually record something while doing it and not necessarily take away from your experience. Uh, you can still enjoy it um, while recording. And also, uh, that's gonna actually differentiate you from other people who just hold their camera and record someone like... Yeah, th this way you're gonna spice up your videos a little bit and make it unique, give that extra point of view that uh, other people are not necessarily think of or use, even if they have GoPro cameras. Alright, once again guys, thank you for watching my video, hopefully you learned something from it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so, as that's gonna help me tremendously. I plan to upload more videos about GoPro and some tips and tricks, uh, you name it. Alright guys, so see you in the next one, bye!